In this activity, we will demonstrate that friction force opposes motion between two surfaces. For this activity, we need a spring balance, a metallic bob with a thread tied to one of its ends, a small sheet of sandpaper, a small square piece of glass sheet. For doing this activity, first fix the metallic bob onto the hook end of the spring balance and keep it. Now place the sandpaper sheet in the center, put the metallic bob onto it and try pulling the metallic bob by putting least amount of force. What do you observe? Is the metallic bob moving? No, the sandpaper is moving but not the metallic bob. Let us repeat the same activity by placing the metallic bob on a glass sheet. Again, pull the spring balance very slightly. What do we observe now? Is the metallic bob moving? Yes, the metallic bob is moving. Is the glass sheet moving? No, the glass sheet is not moving. Let us again observe the movement of metallic bob on sandpaper. Is the metallic bob moving? No, the sandpaper is moving. This is because there is force of friction between metallic bob and the surface of sandpaper, which does not allow the metallic bob to move on its own. When we place it on a glass sheet, the metallic bob moves very swiftly because of less frictional force between the metallic bob and the glass sheet. What do we conclude from this activity? On a rough surface like that of sandpaper, frictional force is very strong and it opposes motion between two surfaces. On a smooth surface like a glass sheet, frictional force is very less. It allows easy motion between two surfaces. So, frictional force is the force which opposes motion between two surfaces. Mm -hmm.